We're tracking that storm that's moving in, bringing a lot of rain. We are hearing this term atmospheric river court. What does that mean? Well, what it means is we have a wet system off the coast that's tapping into a substantial moisture plume normally, and that is what we're seeing with this system, about 200 to 400 miles wide, and that is like a river above us that's just going to be dropping rain and snow across our region over the next several days. Now, as far as what's going on heading into your Wednesday, cloudy with some showers already this morning with heavy rain and snow returning throughout the day today. Gusty south winds as well and will be wet and get cooler as we head through the rest of this week and through your upcoming weekend. A live look right now at the Sundial Bridge in Redding where we're very likely to see at least light to moderate showers heading through in the next hour to hour and a half. Right now we're starting to see some showers edging into the Redding area right now. Not going to be the best day for a stroll across the bridge or anywhere across our region, especially midday into this afternoon. Winter storm warnings going into effect for the northern Sierra and Trinity County as well as Siskiyou County zones today. For the Sierra, this will last through early Saturday morning due to heavy snowfall that's going to cause some travel impacts. Flood watch is going into effect this afternoon, lasting through Friday in the valley, foothills, and a portion of the northern mountains as well. Not seeing any impact from fog this morning, but it is going to be a little tough to see with the heavy rain this afternoon. Temperatures right now warm with 50s to low 60s in the valley, 40s to mid 50s in the foothills, and mostly 40s in our mountain zones. We also have wind advisories and high wind warnings going into effect today, lasting through early tomorrow morning. Gusts up to 45 miles an hour, not out of the question in the valley. Winds out of the southeast, potentially to 50 to 60 miles an hour for those gusts possible in our mountain zones from today through early tomorrow. Right now, those winds gusting up to around or sustained up to around 14 miles an hour out of the southeast. 30 mile an hour gusts at 8 a.m. out of the southeast for the valley. 45 mile an hour gusts possible midday into this afternoon with the heavy rain moving in. Staying pretty windy through early to midday tomorrow, but not as strong as today. 20 to 30 mile an hour gusts tomorrow, and then those winds not quite as strong on Friday. Satellite and radar. I'm tracking rain returning to our region. You can see some already in the Butte County foothills east of the valley in Butte County. Showers extending from Trinity County into Shasta County right now. Most of what's in the valley so far is not hitting the ground for this green, but we are starting to see that getting into Tehama County as well on the west side. Valley areas of Tehama, Butte, and Glen County is dry right now, and Shasta County for the valley still mostly dry, but those rain showers are ramping up quickly. So this wet system off the coast circulating is going to pull that moisture in. You can see that substantial moisture plume off the coast. That's just going to get dragged over our region throughout the day today, ramping up tonight and continuing over the next few days. So at 8 a.m., some rain possible into the interior of the valley along I-5 and through the northern mountains. Heavier rain through I-5 and starting to edge towards the eastern sides of the valley at noon, but for Butte County still mostly dry. And then heavy rain across the board for the valley this afternoon into tonight with heavy snow in the mountains. That persists into early tomorrow before we see heavy pockets of rain, more scattered in nature heading through. That will persist through the day Thursday. Friday, more widespread wet weather looking likely with snow. A little bit of a lull on Saturday for how intense those showers are, and then heavier rain and snow Sunday into Monday. This is going to be substantial. Rain totals from this system today into tomorrow, half an inch to an inch in the valley, over two inches in the northern mountains. Through the end of this week, up to two and a half inches possible in the valley, up to a foot to a foot and a half of snow possible today into tomorrow as well in our higher elevations, with even more heading through your late week forecast. 50s for the northern mountains, 40s to 50s in the Sierra and Southern Cascades, foothills in the 40s to 50s as well. And we'll see temperatures in the 50s to low 60s in the valleys today, but most areas are actually seeing their high temperatures right now. Most valley areas in the mid 50s heading into this afternoon with those gusty winds and the heavy rain. Temperatures dropping tomorrow, 40s in the morning with mid 50s in the afternoon. More of the same on Friday with the heavy rain, a little bit of a lull in the activity on Saturday, and then resurging heavy rain with lower snow levels Sunday into Monday. Kelly, they're starting out between 3,500 feet to 5,000 feet today, but this weekend could be dipping down to around 2,500 feet to 2,000 feet Sunday into Monday. So snow in the foothills, not out of the question. Substantial impacts on the horizon through at least the rest of this week. Wow, there is a lot of rain on that seven day forecast. Court. Yeah, there certainly is. In fact, you don't see one dry day on the seven day forecast throughout it.